Okay, now I'm going I'm back at Weebly.com. I am just uh, going to create a site here, and I've just created it. It's called South Africa Brazil. I just click this button where it says create a site, and gave it the name, and then press continue. But since I've already created it, I don't need to do it again. And now I'm going to click on edit site. I'm going to upload my header graphics and see if it can fit in with anything that uh, that's already up here. So I'm going to click on designs. I'll click this first design. I'll click in the graphics area and they tell me that they want something at 770 by 140. Well that's a lot different from the dimensions of what I have right now but that won't stop me from uploading mine. Okay so there's my image. You can see that it's not quite long enough but it looks pretty good up there. And pretty much if I wanted to put another flag there that, that could work. But let's see what I can do with the image that I have now. So I could actually go with that. Uh, you can see what it would look like on using this template. And I'm just going to slide around to a couple of the templates to see which one would fit, if any of them fit pretty well without resizing. Oh, there we go. That looks interesting. Three flags together. I'm just mousing over. Look at that. That's perfect. I don't even have to do anything else to that if I s selected that image as, a, as my template. That's perfect. And then the, the words will come right down here. So with that image, I don't even have to do anything else. Let's mouse around and see what else is available. That obviously doesn't fit in there too well, so I wouldn't use that. This one doesn't take a, uh, a header image, a header graphic, so I don't even have to worry about that. Sliding over. Not there, not there. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Oh, that looks fantastic. Let me look at that again. <laughs> yeah, that looks great. Um, so you can see I could select that image. That fits very well. You can see that it's nice and centered. The text here for the, the home page would look good. Um, so that image again looks perfect there. Let's, I'll just look and see what a couple of other uh, templates would look like here. But you can see that they're looking good. Uh, let's, oh, that's perfect. Look at that. It's wonderful. I like the uh, script, the typewriting there. Um, I can, like I said, I can see that I can easily fit another flag on here if I wanted to. But right now, that looks great. No, I don't like that because the, the flags are cut off some. No, I don't like that either because it's partially cut off. This one will probably look good. Yeah, that looks good. It's a little bit obvious that I could use a little bit more space there. And if I wanted to use a header graphic like this, I would just go back to um, um, resize it so that it's a little bit larger. That's all. Resize it so it's a little bit larger. A little bit more pixels and, and that would do it. No, that doesn't look good in that template. This one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. Let's do a few more. That would work on this template. That would work very well. That could also work. So you get an idea of what you have to do. You just have to try out the various templates, see which ones you like, and uh, upload your graphics and see how they look in the template that you have selected. Now this one right here, the image looks okay, but you see they're using a black font here and that gets lost on the flag, so I would never select that one. Let's see here. Now I don't like the way the colors look. That's interesting. This is tiled and Morocco is totally gone, so I wouldn't select that either. But you can see that's what you have to do when you upload some header graphics. Just take your time, select the template that you think is going to look good for the images that you have. And if you like a template very well um, and you um, 
want to, then you can just resize the graphics. But I think that this template is actually the best selection for the configuration of flags that I have here now. South Africa, Brazil, and Morocco. I hope that's been, I, that, that has helped you somewhat in uh, deciding how to do your t uh, header graphics. And uh, if you have any questions, then you can just simply complete one of the contact us forms on any of my websites and I'll see if I can get back to you. Um, you'd have to leave your name and your email address and a phone number if you wanted me to contact you. I guess that's it. There are a few more things we need to cover with Weebly, but I just wanted to go over the header graphics with you. And now next lesson we'll look at how to create our subpages and uh, move on towards completion of our unit. Take care. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.